Isaac Newton once took a large sewing needle and pushed it deep between his eye and the bone. He then wriggled it about a bit and wrote down what happened. He was trying to find out where colour came from. Newton is rightly regarded as the father of modern science. His two great publications, the Principia Mathematica and Optics, revolutionised our understanding of the natural world. They stand as monuments to a scientific revolution that gave us the modern world. But it is one that Newton himself would not recognise. His was altogether much stranger, more magical, unsettled and dangerous. He once spent prolonged periods staring directly into the sun to excite the spirits in his eye and hence ignite the creative faculties of his imagination. Properly trained, he speculated this would eventually give him the powers of mind control. It nearly blinded him. His notebooks are filled with reflections on the forthcoming Christian apocalypse. Newton calculated the end of the world will come in the year 2060. He also denied that Jesus Christ was divine, a dangerous heresy in late 17th century England. These notebooks are also filled with his bizarre and equally dangerous experiments in alchemy. For years, Newton conducted systematic investigations into the chemical and magical properties of various natural elements. One aim was to discover the Philosopher's Stone, a curative agent that could turn lead into gold and give everlasting life. He was exposed to and at times personally ingested large quantities of lead, arsenic, mercury and gold, all of which, incidentally, had been blamed for causing his subsequent nervous breakdowns slash psychotic episodes that would trouble him in later life. Like other Faustian practitioners of this mysterious art, he often used impenetrable code words to disguise the exact details of his experiments. He used phrases such as Green Lion, Babylonian Dragon and the Menstrual Blood of the Sordid Whore in place of more conventional nomenclature. He gave himself pseudonyms too, calling himself Jehovah Sanctus Unus, that is, Jehovah the Holy One. Perhaps the secrecy was warranted. One customary punishment for dabbling alchemists was to be hanged from a gilded gallows and dressed in gold tinsel. Google Georg Hanauer, Stuttgart, 1597. Isaac Newton, of course, was not executed. He received widespread recognition for his groundbreaking work and was elected master of the Royal Mint in 1699, where he oversaw the execution of around 24 people for forgery. He was knighted in 1705 and died aged 84 in 1727.